Akbar's administration. In the last episode, we talked about the Mughal emperors, Babar, Humayun, Akbar, Jahangir, and Shah Jahan are the famous Mughal emperors. Akbar is the third Mughal emperor. His administration is followed now also in India. Akbar had a centralized administrative system. He had a military and judicial organizations also. We will go in detail about Akbar's administration. Before that, let me remind all of you to completely watch all my videos and subscribe also. Akbar was the architect of the Mughal administrative system. He had a centralized administrative system. He was the head of military and judicial organizations also. There were nobles on the highest positions of these major departments. Persians, Turks, Muslims and Hindus of Indian origin were the nobles who took the charge as a the administrative heads. He divided the country into different provinces and taxes were collected for the administrative system. Two types of taxes were there. Divine was the officer who is responsible for collecting the taxes. How the account of income and expenses. Mir Bakshi was the administrative head of the military department. Kwasi was the administrative head of the judiciary system. There were spy works which happened all around the country as well as news agencies worked all around the country. Mir Saman was another administrative officer he was in charge of the construction work of the palaces. All the works related to the palace was under his control. During his rule, revenue was divided into two, royal and provincial. Provincial taxes were based on production and consumption. Royal taxes included land revenue and customs duties. Faujudari, Thana, Khalisa, Ina, etc. were the revenue units of the country. One major change happened in the ownership of land is that the ownership of land was given according to the production of the land. People who cultivated the land became the owners of the land. The right of the king, Semindas and, Jag and Jagardas on the land was based on the income. Enough land was distributed to everyone without looking into consideration, caste and creed. And he was very particular that Half of the Inam land should be kept for cultivation. People who are getting Inam land are given permission to do agriculture also. He divided the country into different provinces. Agra, Ajmer, Ambat, Bengal, Bihar, Delhi, Gujarat, Kabul. Lahore, Malta, Multan, etc. were the important provinces. Later, Bihar, Ahmadnagar and Khandesh also were added into the provinces. Royal taxes were collected from Kalisas 
and taxes from Ina were used for religious purposes. Labor taxes, salt taxes, customs, presents given by the nobles and employees to the emperor. The emperor only had the right to declare death penalty. All the laws were similar for Hindus and Muslims. Grama Panchayats looked after the disputes in, in, the, in the Panchayat areas. Mansabdari was the military system introduced by Akbar. The lords of the military ranks maintained their forces with the money collected as the tax from the land freely granted to them. These lords were called as Mansabdas. During the Mughal rule, India had a commercial contact with the foreign countries of Asia and Europe. Gold, silver, raw silk, horse, minerals, pearls, precious stones, silk thread, woolen cloth, perfumes, drugs and African slaves were imported. Various types of cloths, pepper, indigo, saltpeter, opium, drugs were exported. Lots of roads and bridges were made transportation of goods. Mohar was the golden coin. Silver coins were in common. During the reign of Akbar, land was systematically surveyed and new tax rates were introduced. Even though he made amendments in the administrative system, he did not made a lot of changes followed hereditary in the provincial governments. Provinces had a group of administrators to do the administration of these provinces. So this centralized system of administration is followed in India now also. We will meet again with another topic in the coming episode. Let me remind all of you to completely watch all my videos and subscribe also.